One is a grown man with an encyclopedic knowledge of cinema. The other, a man-child raised by the more questionable corners of the internet. What happens when they each dive into something the other one loves? Find out on... The Man With No Brain! Welcome to episode 21 of Joe oh, yeah. It's Cancelled. <laughs> no. Episode 21, huh? All right. How's everything? Is everything good? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm recording on all ends. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to episode number 21. 21 of The Man With No Brain. We are legal to buy alcohol at this point. <gasps> you, can, you can go into Hy-Vee and get yourself a bottle of Old Granddad if you want. <laughs> this I can buy marijuana. 21. You can buy beer awana. What's that? <laughs> no, I can buy marijuana. Marijuana. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. I oh, want yeah. to marry her. <sighs> it is episode 21. I am your host, Ryan Matthew Ziegler. And as always, I am joined by a freshly plucked turkey, Mr. Joseph Robert Buckley. How you doing, fowl? Uh, ooh, for, no, I'm not a bird, first of all. Mm. Second of all, I... Second <laughs> of all. What's that? Ooh. <laughs> Second, okay, I I may have grunted a little bit. That's fine. I, that I was just a, a part of a, your brain stopping. Where's the was joke, a... Joe? Where's the joke? What? Well, okay, no, no, no. I am a victim of a crime. I am going to send you some photos into the man with no brain chat. Um, let me I don't want to look. I don't want to get my phone. Go and look see at lemon girl. party. No, <laughs> no. Uh, waiting for network. One second. Oh God. Oh, okay. My Wi-Fi. Talk about not being prepared. Yeah. No, no, no. I had to send you these as, as, because I didn't want you to see them first. I might not see them anyway. My phone's not near me. <laughs> you got no. Okay. I don't want to, yeah, I don't uh, want to stand up and walk over there. It looks like, it yeah, looks yeah, like yeah. somebody threw oh, for God's sake. ramen noodles on his windshield. Yes, yes. And some beef shields. Some, uh, some sausage. Some, some beef shields. <laughs> I don't know what those are called. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. You mean condoms? No. <laughs> No, uh, some Oscar Myers, I believe. Yeah, but yeah, I All woke right, up and I kind of, my car these. was vandalized with noodles. There was a Why? spaghetti bandit on the loose in Grand Ridge. Did somebody oh, try yeah. to? Did somebody try to rob your car? And they, oh, this is fucking filthy! And they took the shit out of it and threw it on top. No, Actually, no, no. Someone... Uh, well, I'm just saying that it's 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 beef. No- there's more than just noodles. There's a pea. I could see a pea. Oh yeah. <laughs> And there's and then um, there's some red stuff. So I mean, this was some sort of noodle surprise. This was a full casserole. A noodle surprise. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I, I got the full brunt of it. Let me tell you. Well, that's yeah. So you wait, wait a minute. You said you this happened uh, while you were parked at your house. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In front of my house. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Over in the Grand Ridge. Uh, so you got up to what time did the, this happen this morning? Uh no, it was yesterday. But this happened. I uh, by the time I saw my car, probably around one to two. Okay, so you went out to your car and you saw <laughs> this uh, uh, some food displayed all over your car. What was your first instinct to eat it? Uh, I don't like noodles, so no, it wasn't my first instinct. My first instinct was, well, I guess a really messy bird might have flew overhead. No, that's not. That's whole food. That's not. That's not bird shit. No, no, not bird shit. But I thought maybe he picked up a can of noodles. <laughs> I thought maybe yeah, he was I mean, I guess, open I guess if they're, yeah. they're just, there happens to be some sort of soup can lying somewhere and a bird decided to pick it up and then the bird spilled it perfectly yeah. as it flew uh, above your car. I mean, I guess that's possible. <laughs> well, it's a, hey, stranger things happen all the time. Sometimes, uh, sometimes frogs rain from the sky. <sighs> oh, I would love you... to see a version of Stranger Things with the Buckley family. All those bowl cut boys riding their bicycles, <laughs> getting chased by a monster, but it's really just Uncle Soup. And mm. for some reason, all Joey the bikes, Buck. the seats are missing from all the bikes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we just we just plant our assholes down on the pipe, you're saying, and just take a good ride down a hill. <laughs> the Buckleys only go on the bumpiest of roads. You go, you find every brick road in Grand Ridge to go down, even if it takes you 20 minutes out of your way. <laughs> Here, let's yeah, take the yeah. prostate path. So, yeah, Joe, yeah. Joe, how did this massive distraction um, relate at all to Ryan calling you a turkey and you taking offense <laughs> to that? <laughs> well, that, that that I just let go because I had news to share. <laughs> but yeah, no, somebody somebody yeah, so... in the bridge broke 
Yeah, somebody <laughs> in the ridge broke into the food pantry and uh, was just throwing food all over town. Quick, somebody call CNN! I got breaking <laughs> news! <laughs> so, well, but, yeah. Is, so which is it? Is it a bird that picked up a, a wayward can, uh, or is it somebody that broke into the food pantry specifically to just throw food around the small town of Grand Ridge? Which is it? No, no, no it was it was the second one. But the, the bird was my first instinct, but I didn't really believe that. <laughs> the worst instincts. So is it true about somebody breaking into the uh, food pantry? Oh yeah, 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 they did. Oh really? Oh yeah, yeah. And wait, is, is, wait which one, it, Joe? <laughs> The the Ridge Food Pantry. Where's it at? I don't know. <laughs> well, is it like attached like to a sidewalk? church? Now it's all on the sidewalk, but yeah, I guess so. Okay. I mean, for a town the size of Grand Ridge, I'm surprised you don't know where things are, even if you've never patronized them. Yeah. I mean, my well, I mean, hometown, I... I know where almost everything is. I know where the where the Army Supply Store is, and I've never stepped foot in that fucking place. I know yeah, where it's yeah, at, because I, I lived that, that I just, town. I just don't really like to go outside much. So, I mean, that's my thing. Ugh. So what did you do? Did you leave it? Did you, how did you get the food off? Did you take it to a car wash or did you get some paper towels? Oh, uh, I drove it to a gas station and I just kind of used their squeegees. I put, noodles, oh, okay. yeah, I got noodles on their squeegees. Okay. Well, did, did anybody, yeah. was there any other evidence of food splattered around your uh, home or did it seem like it just was uh, on your car? No, it seems like they were just going for cars. Okay. Anyone else you know then got splattered? Or is this in the news? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you get across yeah, all this info? Uh, huh? I guess uh, my mom sent like a picture of my car to the uh, to the cops. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> I'm surprised she didn't call nine one one first. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Well, no, I guess they 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 apprehended the suspects. But I I'm bet not they did press charges. I bet because oh, there's probably well, a, tra- you, a trail Joe. of rotten food yeah. leading right to him. Yeah, <laughs> it's like yeah, uh, no, the Big Lebowski. It's a. Do you have any leads on who uh, threw the noodles on my son's car? They peed on my fucking rug, Donnie. <laughs> God, whatever. Uh, what? But yeah, no, no. I I do not talk to the police. I will not be pressing charges. Oh, Joe. Yeah. If they would have broke out your window, your windshield. You would be talking to the police. Yeah, yeah, that would be a different story. But... Okay, so don't say yeah, I never talked to the police make ever. It... <laughs> well, I tried to make it a rule not to talk to the uh, to the cops. Yeah. And why is that <sighs> again? Why is that again, again, Joe? Well, I mean, nothing good can come from it. You never talk to the police in any cir- circumstance. But unless they, unless you need them, like they someone smashed your window, then some good could come from it because you talked to them, right? Well, I mean, but that basically <laughs> you're hoping <laughs> something good from it. No, you're hoping something good comes from it, but you might just get hit in the back of the head with a baton. You never know. Okay. Joe, well, they would they would <laughs> never do that to you. They they tried to give me a speeding ticket for going, I believe, thirty miles in a twenty five mile hour zone. I have well, gotten a speeding ticket for going five miles over the limit. As much as I fucking oh yeah, hit, it's disgusting. It, but it's still breaking the law. Yeah, I mean, it's well. the, the you can't fault them for that. You you know, it's a near, annoying. Um, I get it, but you know, you were going five miles over the speed limit. And the thing is, if you would have contested the ticket, it probably would have been thrown out. Yeah. Because it was oh, only sure. five miles over. But nevertheless, yeah. it's not like they harassed you, Joe. You have live in a very, 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 very small town. So five miles over the, the speed limit is gonna draw their attention because they got nothing else to do. Yeah. Also, yeah, uh like fifty percent of going through your town is a school zone. <laughs> well, <laughs> like that's not even that's the truth. <laughs> Maybe they should move the school. Whatever. And you've bragged okay. about yeah. it on the show many times about going 80 miles an hour back to your house, which is yeah, 25 over the yeah. speed limit. Yeah. No, that's mm. accurate. Oh, my God, dude. Well, anyway. Yeah, so, Thanksgiving. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> I, I, I want to know, what was your initial reaction to you learning about what happened to your car? Well, I was mostly just like, uh, well, shit, I guess I got to get spaghetti off it now. I don't, what am I going to do about that? Were you okay. mad? No. Well, not at all. Like, like, and I know your car is not, you know, it's not a brand new vehicle, but nevertheless, it is your first car. And I, yeah, yeah. even in that case, I would be angry if I came out and saw any sort of, um, somebody threw something on it. It would just piss me off. It's as like yeah. a completely disrespectful way. I'd feel you know angry about it, and you didn't feel angry. Sure, sure. No, no, not really. I'm a I'm a benevolent Buckley, you could say. <sighs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, like Joe blurted out there, regurgitated out of his neck gourd. 
Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, some Thanksgiving stuff. Some, uh, what oh, I wanted yeah. from Joe initially when we had discussed about what we're going to do this week, because it is you know the week of Thanksgiving, I said, I want to hear some stuff from Joe that he's thankful for this year in 2020. And I want, you know, him to think about maybe some, some black Friday adventures he may or may not have been on. I'm literally I'm yeah, yeah. kind of curious about Joe Buckley and his approach to Thanksgiving. Cause he's also notoriously picky when it comes to food. Oh, I've got, I've got a list for that. Yeah. All right. Well, let's start off. All right. Now, on average, an average year, maybe this year is going to be different. I don't know what your family's doing. If you're, you're not all getting together because of COVID, et cetera. No, um, no, we're not. So that, you know, so let's just take a, a, an average Thanksgiving. Okay. What does a Joe Buckley Thanksgiving plate look like? Oh, okay. Well, the food in particular. And oh, hold on um, a second. Is this uh, mom's side or dad's side? Oh, it would be dad's. That's like the big Thanksgiving thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and that's so, not is so, Tad involved in that? Is that Tad's side? Oh yeah, that's Tad. Okay, yeah. so he's normally part of the Thanksgiving <laughs> adventure as well. Sure, right? sure, sure. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I get in line. Everybody's lined up to get some food. Um, because we we <laughs> eat right at right on the dot whenever it's about time to eat. So, uh, <laughs> so I get in line. <laughs> what time? I, I, what time? What is the normal time? With the oh, time whenever my eat. grandma finishes up. Whenever, is just this lunch or dinner? Done. Yeah. Dinner. Dinner. Okay. So it's an evening meal. Thanksgiving for yes, you is an yeah. evening meal. Okay. Yes. Can you give me uh, the turkey I... leg filled with baked beans, please? <laughs> no, no, I don't say that. Uh, give what me I the do sweet potatoes a... without the potato. Just give me the marshmallows. <laughs> just sugar. Can I have sugar? <laughs> they just give him a bag of brown sugar and some marshmallows, and he eats it with a long oh, proboscis God. like a fly. He, li- he licks the marshmallow, sticks it in the sugar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I grab, I grab my plastic silverware. And I normally I get some homemade bread to start out with. My hold on a second. Really hold on a second. <laughs> uh, I, I, so the moment you said plastic silverware, I'm picturing you're either in like a, a small village hall or someone's garage. <laughs> no, no, we're in the home. We're which, in the home. which home? Whose home? My grandma's. Is that the one okay, that has she got on? a big house? No, not really. We're all kind of crammed in. Is How this many a, Buckley's? Uh, sorry, right? Is this, is this one on the east side of town, Joe? The one that I've dropped no, no, you off a couple town. times. No, no. Oh, okay. No, so I haven't no, seen that's it. A different one. Gotcha. No. no. Okay. So, so is it is uh how many people? How many how many people are we talking usually? Uh probably about thirty five <clears throat> to forty Buckleys jammed in. <laughs> Holy shit! Wait, no, what? Forty yeah. Buckleys? I didn't even yeah. know there were that many. Yeah. They're like fucking gremlins. Well, whenever, dude. whenever you get <laughs> they wives, come, they come the... crawling out of rocks and out of sewer pipes <laughs> for the meal. Oh god, the yearly meal. <laughs> no, no, no. It's no. only time those uh, Buckleys get meat. No, I mean, it's not all Buckleys, because like, you got to count, like, the wives of the Buckleys come over, and, like, yeah. the children, and the cousins, co- yeah, so. Yeah. It's not all Buckleys, but there's about 40 people in the house. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Do You, you and, don't have uh, any I'll images really... of this, Joe? Uh, I could I could look through my shit and maybe send you something. I'm not sure if I do or not. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a look. Uh, but I normally, I get some homemade bread, because that's good. She makes some good homemade bread. Um. And then I get some turkey, and normally there's, like, little sausages with bacon wrapped around them. So I pick up some of those. And then, let me think. Uh, no! There's not mice in my head just thinking about the Thanksgiving I'm missing on. Mm. Uh, but then, yeah, some uh, a couple of years there's been some fried chicken, so I'll get some of that. Of course there is. So you start out with the, because yeah. I cut out for a second, you start out with, with the homemade bread. And what do you yeah. move on to? Uh, just some turkey, some average turkey. Okay. Um, so do they but, uh, do they ba- bake the turkey, or is it a deep fried turkey, or do you do both? <laughs> well, it's not deep fried. I believe it's baked. There's no stuffing in it because I won't eat stuffing anyway. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you got some homemade bread. You've got some turkey. Or do you just grab anything, or do you just want the white meat? Do you like the dark meat? I'll take anything for turkey. I'm not that picky in terms of turkey. Do you like uh, just sliced turkey, or are you, you you getting a leg? You getting a wing? Um, I mean, normally it's almost leg, like you know? a, normally it's almost like a stew almost. Stew. Like it, it just kind of all falls apart off the bone. <laughs> so it's, the meat is cut up. It's it's flaky, and it's it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. in a pan, ready to already. It's already been carved. Yes, yes. It's not. It's not floating in a liquid like a stew. I mean, whatever turkey based it, I, I have no idea how you cook a turkey. I don't know. 
But I'm saying oh, when you I, when you go up to the platter that has the meat in it, is it floating in water? I, there's a little bit of liquid in the bottom. Sure. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. So you get your homemade bread. You get your turkey. What did you say about fr- uh, fried chicken? Well, we, we've had uh, we've had fried chicken in addition to that a couple of years. Uh, so I'll get some of that after some. Okay, what else? And then there's there's little uh, sausage weenies wrapped in bacon. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, I'll, I'll, I'll start off with a nice vegetable. I'll normally get some corn. Okay, so you have some corn, you've got bread, you've got maybe fried chicken, you've got sausages cut, uh, wrapped in bacon, and you got some turkey. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's about it as far as, as far as my plate goes. So you don't like stuffing? No. Oh, God, no. You don't like any sort of, like, uh, casserole, then? Nope, nope. Because a lot of people talk about this green bean casserole, which I hate green oh, beans, yeah, so I don't, I don't play with that. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Yeah, they said, like, uh, I got a list of, like, basically the perfect Thanksgiving meal. Like, basically the typical American one. And then, so it's roast turkey, which I like. Uh, turkey stuffing, disgusting. Uh, mashed potatoes, will not do them. Uh, gravy, no. I'm shocked uh, by that. Beans. I'm surprised that you don't like gravy. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of am, too. I'm kind of shocked. Uh, but I just don't really like it, no. Okay. Yeah, green beans, I'll do them in a pinch. But no, I normally won't grab some for myself. <laughs> so if you were in some sort of underground bunker and the world outside was just nuclear zombies and all you yes. had was green beans, you'd be all right because it's in a pinch. No, I'd shoot myself in the head. Uh, <sighs> but I'd, I'd eat the green beans for three days and then I'd shoot myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you already were yeah. planning on offing yourself, uh, why would you even bother eating the green beans? Why don't you I, leave it for somebody else? This- <clears throat> you could take him the sights for a couple days. Well, okay. and he, 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 the help, to help him get through it, Ryan, he would just picture them as tiny little alien penises. <laughs> <laughs> well, then it, well, you would, it would take a lot longer to go through all those in three days because he'd take his time with each one. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> sucking the little seeds out, you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Just unwrapping the green bean skin like it's an uncircumcised alien yeah. cock, you're saying? Peeling uh, it back and sucking on the yes! hands and flying. Yes. Okay. Well, that I is wanted, what we were I saying, Joe sure. Buckley. <laughs> I was just asking. I was asking to make sure. So at your house, is there, so you don't like mashed potatoes? That is that the only no. uh, potato option then during your Thanksgiving dinner? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, okay. I don't think nobody really does baked potatoes. So yeah, you get a mashed or not at all. And you don't like sweet potatoes? No, no, okay. no, no. Yams. And then <laughs> yeah. Uh, they say corn is big around the holidays. I'm okay with corn. Yeah, yeah I don't mind that. Yeah. Uh, dinner rolls. It really, really depends on the roll. I do not like sweet bread at all, but I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll enjoy a roll. So uh, you, cranberry so sauce. Like crescent rolls. You like nah, those? I don't really like them. Okay. So it's yeah, more than just sweet crumbly. rolls. Yeah, they're a crescent roll is a bit too crumbly for my taste. What about a croissant? Nah, no. <laughs> what no. about a bagel? No, no. <laughs> a nice Thanksgiving I, bagel. No. I don't think so. No. So you say cranberry sauce? Do you don't like? Do you like that? Absolutely not. No, that goes in the garbage. Okay. And then the classic pumpkin pie. Uh, I will not be having a slice of that. No, thank you. What? So what you're? Yeah, yeah. Not even with copious I, amounts of whipped cream. No, no, no. What? So what's your so, dessert of choice on Thanksgiving? Uh, I mean, sometimes they have like cookies, but I don't really do a dessert. Okay. What? You don't like you don't yeah. like a sweet? I, I mean, sure, I enjoy a sweet, but uh, right, he's eating sweets like, every day. He can give it up for yeah. Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, 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 I suppose so. I just thought for sure that any sort of um, pastry item there, or something sweet, Joe would be all about it. Yeah. Ice cream. Right now, I have a. Uh no no we don't really have ice cream no no. No apple pie and ice no, cream? No, it's never, it's never really been done before at Grandma's house, I don't think. <laughs> that's, that's not, we don't do that in the Buckley Thanksgiving. That's crazy no. talk. Iced cream? No. <laughs> what, what, what? We, we should of, just go the, to the Amish and make it churn? No, that's because of the lactose intolerance that runs through, you know, historically through the Buckleys. Yeah. yeah. You know, oh, I'm definitely. A little glass yeah, of milk yeah, and I you drink. got a pants, your pants full of mud. Mm-hmm. Yep, I'll just be sit, shitting in the sink. So okay. Yes, I, I, yeah. Go ahead. Well, no. 
I am not. I am not spitting in Zolus. I I do not. I do not just make that sound. Spitting in Zolus. To... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? No, Speedy. Speedy Gonzalez. I'm not quick like Gorgonzola. <laughs> no. So you that sure as shit did something Speedy Gonzalez to me. Uh. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, I was going to say I, I came up with like a little game show segment of uh, we should uh, placing bets on what food Joe will eat around Thanksgiving. Well, you just told us. Yeah, what's the oh, bet? Oh, no, 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 but you guys... You guys Turkey, can throw corn, homemade foods. bread, but I mean, we already <laughs> no, know. No, no, <laughs> no. No, you, uh, you guys can throw out foods, and I'll tell you yes or no. Uh, I'm okay, not even I'll, interested I'll, in doing it. Yeah, I'm not. Okay, that's buy. fine. We can move on. I mean, because we know what you don't like for the most <laughs> yeah, part. Yeah, mostly. Yeah, sure. It's going to be most sure. vegetables. <clears throat> yes. You know what I mean? And I know you don't like... Um, you don't like most potato items. Nope. You know, you like French fries and uh, Wendy's That's fries with the, with the covered in the bacon and whatever, the Baconator fries. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just little crumbs of bacon you can lick off the top. But um, so on a normal Thanksgiving, so the, the, set the scene. All right. You guys say you have an, an evening meal. Um, what time do yeah, you know, What do you like, do? Like, yeah. <laughs> About five, so five or six. So you go over to, to, to grandma's at five, five, five thirty. Let's say let's put the difference. Five thirty. Sure. What do you do before okay. all that? Is there any a family event before that? Or are you guys just hanging out? No, we're just hanging out, talking. So uh, me and Ted might, might be in the basement playing uh, some Binding of Isaac. Okay. Um, and then is that so? You eat the dinner, and then what happens? Anything? Yes. Is there any traditions other than just having food? No, no, I'm just hanging out. I mean, because there's a lot of yes. So I thought there could be maybe you guys, uh, some of you play some games, you know, mm. categories yeah. or some shit. <laughs> Yeah. No, yeah, we've got like a big Scandinavian dance, I bet. <laughs> but, you know, this year because of COVID, so you said you're not going to be uh, doing that. Are you doing, what are you doing instead? Like a smaller oh, nothing, event? Nothing. Like, well, I mean, no, no, your, I me mean your immediate family's not going to do it. Your mom's not going to, you know, cook some food. Like some Thanksgiving uh, sure, food. Sure, yeah, yeah. Probably, yeah, probably on my, yeah, like in my actual house, sure. But yeah, we won't be meeting up with the grandparents. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Um, so uh, switching over to you okay. know sort of the Thanksgiving hol you know weekend, Black Friday, of course, a uh, big deal for a lot of people. Whether you're doing it online or you're going to stores, or maybe you have other traditions. Like I, I'm obviously not this year, but I normally have a Black Friday tradition of going to the casinos. I like to gamble. I always do that on Black Friday. Um, you win big. Uh, sometimes, sometimes one time, I'll tell you this before I, before I ask you anymore. Um, one time, one year I went, usually it's a friend of mine. We go to the casino and, uh, you know, well, we will go to like Best Buy and see what Blu-ray sales in the mall maybe. Um, but the main thing is we, we go to the casino and one year he couldn't go and I was by myself. So I was like, well, I, I'm not going to go to the casino maybe, but I went to some stores and I was driving by the casino on my way home and I had to go to the bathroom real bad. I uh, drank too much soda or something. So. The casino's free to get into. Um, so I was like, well, I can just pull in. I'm going to go into the, use the bathroom in the casino and then split. So I yep, go to I got to make boom, boom next to the chips. <laughs> no. So <laughs> I go in, I use the bathroom. They have, you know, and then they have uh, like a lot of casinos, they have free coffee and free soda and stuff. So I got some mm -hmm. soda and in my pocket, I had four $1 bills because uh, I hadn't okay. intended on gambling or anything. So I didn't have any cash. I had four $1 bills in my pocket. I thought, well, I'm here. You know, while I finish drinking the soda, I'll, I'll, you know, play these four bucks. So I went over to the, the dollar slots and I put one dollar in, pulled the thing, nothing. Another dollar, nothing. Third dollar, I hit 40 bucks. So I cash that fucker oh. out and split. I was in there five oh, minutes, yeah. took a piss, 140 bucks, had a cherry Coke. It was one of the best Black Fridays ever because <laughs> it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, normally, yeah, I go uh, gambling. I don't usually win big. I usually nice. quit when I'm ahead. Um, but <laughs> yeah, I don't intend well, usually. Well, you probably, yeah. I don't expect to win a lot because I don't bring, I bring maybe no. 200 bucks. I'm, you know, I just play the dollar slots for the most part. Um, yeah. I don't normally do table games on occasion. I will, but um, you know, it's more of just fun. It's just a traditional thing. If I win some cash, that's cool too. If I lose the 200 bucks, not a big deal. Cause I already planned on it. You know what I mean? So, but this year, yeah. you know, They're that's probably, all, that's all not happening. Yeah. You're probably one of the only people in that building that day who walk out with money. 
So that's good. It's possible, yeah. But what is yeah. uh, what is a Joe Buckley Black Friday? Well, uh, Black Friday isn't really anything for me. Um, we that's we've not never true. really that's tried not to true, get like. Joe. Well, I'll explain. No, 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 explain. no, no, no. You, because uh, usually on Fridays you're asleep from you know seven a.m. <laughs> until you know ten p.m. That's a Black Friday. You just sleep the whole day. You don't see the sunlight. <laughs> All he sees uh, is behind me, his Tyler, eyelids. But the holiday, that, the holiday is not called Blackout Friday. It's just Black Friday. We shop. We don't. We don't pass out in our own alcohol. It's okay, Joe. Vomit. I landed a joke. It's okay. Yeah. Well, I'm just your pee pee hurts. Okay. Your pee pee hurts. It's okay. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> well, I thought. I thought maybe because you're into video games, uh, you know, there's sales online or any something. Yeah. No, the sales really aren't good. I was going to explain that. Um, there's pretty much. <laughs> I, at the le- at the very least, in the last like five years, I've taken a look. Uh, nothing for the most part. Nothing you can get twenty percent off a video game or something, and I I get far better sales just playing on PC. Oh, so than I do so in the, store there, physically. Is there anything magic related that that they do no, on no. Black Friday for sales or anything? No, nothing really like that. GameStop occasionally has like a buy one get one free on packs. But even if you take advantage of that, the one time a year they have that, that still it averages out to just buying a booster box. So it's not really even a sale. It's nothing. So you've never, have you ever accompanied your family to any, uh, like getting up early in the morning and going out and doing uh, any of that sort of thing? No, no, no. They never really do it early. Uh, they, my dad will like uh, go out at night and take a look in like a Walmart or something mm-hmm. after the Thanksgiving hangout. So probably around like 11 midnight or something like that, he'll go look. Yeah, yeah. And I've accompanied him, and there's just, it's just completely ravaged by that time. And there's just, I guess if you want a copy of the Great Gatsby remake on DVD for a buck 95, you can buy that. <laughs> yeah, um, you're not other wrong. than that, it's garbage. <laughs> I yeah. mean, I found some, when it comes to like Blu rays, it's always a good time. Um, normal years, you know, you're, there's going to be some of the summer movies. Uh, you'll make get some sales, uh, you know, because Walmart will do their sticker sales where they'll have like green, anything with a green sticker on it, it's like $3 and stuff like that. And uh, usually every year I find one or two cool Blu-rays for a really good cheap price. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And then online too, go to Blu-ray.com. They've got a ticker um, all week long. And if you keep, and it's constantly updated and you can see, you know, some awesome deals there for like Blu-ray yeah. sales. So I usually clean up pretty good on Black Friday when it comes to online uh, Blu-rays and stuff like that. But again, this year, I mean, there are some catalog titles that are out there, um, some box sets that have already been priced down, but I'm probably not going to pick any of those up. No. I, I saw that they've got the Vestron Shivers at Walmart, at your local Walmart, for like 13 bucks. But oh, other well, than that, the shelves are pretty barren. Yeah, that, and I got that for 10 bucks on uh, online. Uh, oh, um, nice. First day. First day it was that way. Yeah, but, I, I think my best like uh, Black Friday Blu-ray pick. I think I found like a special edition of Alien with like a booklet, nice booklet for ten bucks. Oh months. yeah, yeah. I think you told me about that. You told me about that. Yeah, but other than I, I don't normally pick up too much. So what I'm gathering from from you, Joe, is that Thanksgiving for you is really just a, like two hours a year. <laughs> it's not like a big uh, weekend. Yeah, almost. It's not like a big thing. You don't have any specific traditions other than you go to your grandmother's and eat food. Yes, yeah. You don't um, watch any Thanksgiving issue. shows or specials or planes, trains, what, and automobiles. What is there? There's there no there there's, are Thanksgiving yeah, there's, stuff out there. There's Thanksgiving yeah, movies. Yeah, there's like a handful. I mean, they exist. Yeah, I, I don't really care about the holiday. It's a very boring holiday, so I don't really try to okay. get festive with it. Okay. Yeah. Um, my thing <laughs> is, I really, I really wish that they would combine the Fourth of July and Thanksgiving. Why? Because that, that way we could just like. We could just blow off fireworks during the Macy's Day Parade, and that would at least make it interesting. Uh, have you ever watched the Macy's Day Parade on TV? No. No, yeah. I believe I've seen it in the backgrounds. <laughs> I don't know if you're awake. I am <clears throat> awake sometimes during the day. That's, that's, that's not right, that's an unusual morning. thing to happen. Yeah, I, I, I understand. I understand what time I, it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Joe Buckley driving nuts. <laughs> <laughs> You just drive just a so general. I mean, I'm sitting here at the lake half listening and I'm just thinking about you. 
I'm thinking about your face and I think about your ears and your hair and your body. And I think about the things you say. And I think about the stuff you say when we're not on microphone. I'm just, Joe Buckley is one of a kind. You know, I think, I don't, I think that goes without saying, but every now and again, it just dawns on me like fucking Joe Buckley. I'll be sitting by myself in the middle of the night sometimes. And I'll just think fucking Joe Buckley out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I want to. Okay. What? I bet he's eating cheese right now. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Bag of cheese. All right. Oh, so, yeah. all right. I want to know about what's your, uh, what you're thankful for, Joe. Did you compile a list? Uh, yeah, I got a little list. Okay. Um, now, is this real? Because I'm genuinely curious. I mean, it kind of depends. Okay. What, how about this? Can you categorize them? Can you start with like the bits and then do the real stuff or something? <laughs> Just put them together and don't try and mix them oh, in. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Because okay, you love I to understand. do that bit where you say, I'm not a liar, but I'm lying. Or am I really? I'm a liar. Nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I believe in theater of the mind. I, I think you should lie to the audience. Yeah, that's not theater of the mind, but. Okay. Okay, that's fine. I get into the in the, into the squared circle. What are you thankful for, Buckley? Okay. Uh, I'm uh, I'm uh, thankful that my parents uh, basically just let me just live in their house for uh, no rent. Yeah, I can see that. That's something to be thankful for, especially this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm thankful that uh, David Lynch is not dead yet. He's still kicking. Mm -hmm. And not only that, he's how often is he doing um, like YouTube videos or whatever it is? He does them every single day. He picks a ball oh, out of a jar every single day. Yep, labeled oh. one out of ten. Well, that's and definitely he shows something to be thankful for. And he for. says what the number is. Okay. Yeah. Well, absolutely. That's that is something to be thankful for when you're Joe Buckley. What else? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm uh, thankful that we get to uh, do these podcasts and that people listen to them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Understandable. You could yeah. th you could thank the audience right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, audience. I mean, uh, I, I, I definitely, I definitely think we've got a really good audience. We've got a really big audience, and uh, we're we're just gonna hope it, it just kind of grows on from here, like a little apple tree. Yeah. And we're yeah. just watering it. Apple it's content tree. and piss. <laughs> yeah. It's the only fruit. Joe but then knows. one day, one day I. The one day I get drunk and then I just put in my wooden teeth and I chop it down. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, diabetes what else? are gonna yeah. take those teeth. <laughs> uh, I don't, no, that's that's all of my real list. Okay, okay. So you're so you're 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 thankful for your family letting you live in their house. Still, you're thankful for uh, the man with no brain audience, and you're thankful for David Lynch uh, being alive and constantly uh, updating his YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There's not, you're not thankful for Tyler. Well, I mean, just the, the <laughs> yeah, the, all the podcasts in general. Uh, oh, oh, okay. So it's it's the, the you're just covering it all. Ah, the podcast, yeah. all the fuckers well, yeah, involved, and whatever. No, I mean the, the entire thing. How come Ted didn't That's get special yeah. mention? Yeah. Um. The big. Uh, the man who made you what you are. What? Yeah. 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 Well, no, no, I wouldn't say that. Because I kind of did like my funny stuff before Tad. So, what the fuck okay, are you so, talking about? <laughs> okay. Tad, Tad's uh, the one that got what? you out to the widest audience. No, 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 he did. But I was like, uh, I was working on like uh, Grace's room around then before I even did the pod. <laughs> so, so, so essentially, <laughs> Tyler, Tad doesn't deserve any any no, special yeah, thanks. I hear exactly fuck that. Yeah, that's what Joe's saying. Fuck you, Tad. That's what, no, I'm, that's what no. I'm hearing, Joe. Yeah. I, I'm sorry, no, Tad. I'm, I'm sorry. I know it probably hurts to hear that from yeah. your cousin. It's not fair. You deserve no. so much um, more, Tad. No, no. I no. I am thankful for Tad uh, for letting me come on. Let me tell you about and just kind of uh, kind of showcase. Yeah. Uh, so why my are you ejaculating on, on the show? Yeah. I'm not. No, no, no. That's not. You're coming on. No, let me tell I'd you about. You, you hop on a mic and you just. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would. I think that would be really good comedy. I think that would be really funny if I masturbated Who's on Mike? Mike. Yeah. So I Who's yeah, Mike? yeah. Yeah. Well my mic. I've got Mike. I've got Mike. <laughs> No, not Does my he know Uncle that Mike. you refer to him as you own him? I've got a Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's my dog boy. Okay. All right, so now are we moving on to your thankful ear bits? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> um I'm I'm really thankful the GameStop is shutting down because that means that I can just go in and buy like all their Funko Pops for half off. <laughs> Did you say Funko Pops? Yeah, Funko, Funko Pops. Pops based on the porn stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sasha Gray. Those Ron Jeremy's Ron are gonna be Jeremy. real cheap, Joe. 
Well, but, <laughs> yeah. but they're atomically correct. So they've got like a three inch they're tick. What correct? Atomically. What correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Atomically. <laughs> <laughs> Aristocratically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I could do the aristocrats. No, you literally no, couldn't do it, Joe. You could not do it. I could do it. No, I could do no, it. No, you could because you couldn't have the subtle nuance it takes to. You have to be straight, as straight as possible. It's not just you walk up. Hey, so the, the, the moms are sucking off the the son, and the, the daughters having sex with the yeah. dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be that would be an ultimate <laughs> way to do the aristocrats. <laughs> it would be a boring yeah. way to do yeah. it. Yeah. You know, because at least for us, we've heard it all. Now, if some stranger on the street um, saw you, they'd be laughing at your face <laughs> and your hair and your voice as you do it. Mm-hmm. And it might, they're like, this is like a new Pee Wee Herman. Uh-huh. So then it may be funny. But us, we've heard every filthy thing and all, uh, I would, it wouldn't do me okay. any Okay, okay, that's that's understandable. Yeah. Uh, I, but, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so your your Funko Pop thing. Uh, <laughs> I'm uh, I'm really thankful <laughs> for uh, for bundle sites because I can keep getting Steam games and then not playing them for cheap. Or I assume that's funny to people that get it. Yeah, yeah, that might be funny to people. <laughs> Next joke. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm really I'm really thankful that uh, basically, so. Like, you know how, like, you have, like, a nice, like, orange juice jug or whatever, and you can just leave it in your room? I'm really thankful that I have a bunch of jugs <sighs> in my own piss and my mom doesn't touch them. That's nice of her. <laughs> now, this has gone from being a a list of uh, things you're thankful for, but not really. It's all comedy. Now it's, like, just a stand-up joke. Oh, okay. Okay, I understand. Anybody, what, what's the deal with jugs of piss <laughs> that you have around your bathroom? Okay. What, what, what are you thankful for, Ryan? Uh, do you want bits or do you want real stuff? Well, whatever, whatever you want to do. <laughs> well, I'm, well, okay. Yeah. No, you know, I'm thankful for, uh, it's been a tough year. I'm, I'm thankful that, um, so far I've, I'm healthy. Um, my family's been okay. Um, uh, I'm thankful that most of the, most everyone I know, um, has been okay. Um, I'm thankful that I got my unemployment shit straightened out when I finally did. Yeah. yeah. Cause otherwise I'd be in some real dire they, straits uh, this year did they back that up did you uh, get like um from when you oh yeah i got the back yeah i got it all back paid yeah and yeah. everything so took months and months and months i had to wait i had to go to a meet you know i had to go to like an in-person thing it was uh You're it was months breathing. and months and months of uncertainty you got and... legs <laughs> yeah <laughs> you mind if i kiss you <laughs> it's part of the exam that i get to kiss you to make sure you can't be unemployed part of the exam <laughs> But I'm the not... unemployment exam, yes. Do you want the forty dollars a week, sir? It's rectal and oral. <sighs> I'm Joe Buckley. Yeah, <laughs> I would have. I would tell you, it would have been a lot less stressful if I would have had to go to some place and somebody would just play with my butt for five minutes, and then it would have been a lot less stressful than what I really oh, had yeah, to do to get this shit to go through. The phone calls and the emails, and I sent no less than like a hundred emails in a week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In one week's time, Damn, no I, joke, every hour of the hour, I sent an email and finally got somebody to call me back. And then that person didn't know what the hell was going on. Yeah, yeah. It was like, it was comical. Yeah. Um, so me and my anyway, mother had I'm to thankful call. that. The, oh, sorry. No, I'm just saying I'm thankful I got that straight yeah, now because yeah, yeah. otherwise I'd have been in a real Wait, bad spot. Yeah. Well, about... me and my mother had to call them about 50 times before we finally got through to someone. Your mom's on unemployment too? Yeah. No, for me. She was calling on my behalf. Oh my fucking god, Joe! You couldn't <laughs> um, even. No, no, I'm not you surprised. couldn't even call for no, no, free no. money. I was calling. I was calling. They wouldn't go through. We call. We had to call them fifty-seven stop, stop. times. It's not we. You. You. It's your money. Why yeah. is your mom... my mom wanted to make sure that I could get it? So she was calling. You fucking pathetic yeah. baby. You couldn't even get no, your own no. free money. Your mother had to do it for I you. I called them 40 times. It doesn't matter. Then you call 50 times. You don't need your mom to do it yeah. for you. Well, we were trying to get Stop through. Stop saying we. calling them at the it's same time. It's not we. It's you. It was a group effort. It was no. a group effort because we were trying oh. no, 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 We were trying to get like time at the same time so maybe we could get through to someone. Okay, okay. So you were doing multiple phones yes. at the okay, same time. Yes. It wasn't like at th- you know you were sleeping at n- ten in the morning and your mom was on the phone. No, we were just trying to talk to a human being and they would not pick up for a month. Okay, okay. so hold on a second. Wh- who whose phone <laughs> whose phone call got in? I believe it was mother's. Okay, and did mom just immediately hand you the phone? 
Yes, yes, I did talk. No, 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 no. That's not what the question was. Did... It wasn't immediately. Jesus no. Christ. I don't know. So she my, talk... my big... Yeah. My little Bobby. <laughs> well, that... He got laid off from the from his part-time and job at the movie that theater. That just proves I should be on unemployment. Just... And we're just trying to make sure he can get his green yeah. so he can go to the Ottawa dispensary and buy his weed gummies. <laughs> well. And get his slush. Well, it's legal now. It's completely legal. I am I am entitled to marijuana. You're not entitled you to You know it. what I think, Joe, is that your mother put. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Jesus. I think I am. But, yeah. So what I like like is is your mother did work. Your mother did work on your behalf to get the unemployment. Yeah, yeah she's definitely still wiping out. your ass. And did yeah. she see? <laughs> oh, she does. He sits on the toilet. He goes, "I'm done." <laughs> oh, he's got one of those little I bells. Mean... That, he's got one of those little doorbell things that the dogs ring. You know, <laughs> this is like he's. It's on the wall. And he just hits it. <laughs> bing, bing, bing. Mommy, and Joe, Joe mommy, brags. It. My butthole is wet. Yeah, well, Joe brags my about his wet, bid- his bidet, and it's just his mom <laughs> filling her mouth up with water from the sink and shooting it in his asshole. <laughs> No, she's got one of those Stand like. Stand in the uh, tub, Joe. Stand bottles. in the tub. Bend over. <laughs> she, she's got a spray bottle that you use on the grill to make sure the fire doesn't show, get too show hot. Show me your little stinky oh, star. Little... I'll wash it off with the ocean. <laughs> oh, yeah. the bleach one this time, Mom. <laughs> yeah. But the germs and the bugs aren't nice. gonna die, Joe. If I don't. Get it nice, Mom. Get it moist. Yeah. He's like Eric Cartman at South Park. But anyway, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bathrooms. Well, who's that cool guy? guy. <laughs> Mom, I'm playing Lord of Warcraft. Bring me the potty bag. <laughs> the potty bag. I like yeah. the idea they just bring you like a, a you know a five gallon Ziploc bag. You just yeah. liquid diarrhea right into it. <laughs> I was thinking. Uh, I was thinking. Uh, I was thinking a Kroger's bag. That, way, that Kroger's wouldn't bag. hold Either your way, defecation. We went from <laughs> we went from being thankful. So now we're I'm, I'm picturing you shitting into a plastic Ziploc bag, Joe Buckley. This is what well, happens every time, every time. And I should know. I should know better. I should. I should be. I should just understand that this is how it's always going to go. It's always yeah, going to be yeah, this yeah. way. It happened with the fucking the Halloween episode. <laughs> and, and now we're. And it's. I'm not we're to do blame. Christmas in a month. I yeah. yes, and, I, and I'm partly to blame, and I understand that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be talking about sucking off Santa to make sure we get good stockings. But anyway, my my thing was I was going to say, did your mother give your mother anything for her efforts? Did you buy her a nice gift or anything with that extra money? Because you got more than you needed, and you know your mother worked really hard and put in hours and time to yeah. help you with your unemployment situation. So I feel she probably, you know, should have earned a little something, or at the very least, maybe this this holiday season you give her a little something. Yeah, extra. get her a nice Christmas. Gift. Okay, okay. Because you got the well, money. Yeah, yeah. You got the cash. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can do that. I mean, right now I've got some um, pink starbursts that I already bought her. A pound of pink starbursts. <laughs> Love you, mom. Hope you die in five years. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think they. I think they even come unwrapped. So that's a nice present. It's a. It's it's a present, yes. But I don't. Hopefully, that's not the end of it. <laughs> hopefully, no, that no, her twenty-five-year-old no. son, like you said earlier, they allow you to live in the house. You have, you're thankful for them. Hopefully you can show your gratitude a little bit better than a bag of candy, whether it's a pound and unwrapped or nay, you can mm. do better than that. I was thinking, I was thinking like a coupon book that says like stuff like one free hug. Okay. And like one, <laughs> hold, one, hold on, on a second. One of those sex, sex pack ones God. from Spencer's. Yeah. I'll rub your back, mom. I'll he, doesn't rub your re- back. he doesn't realize it. <laughs> so Joe, what, what, what is something yeah. your mother actually likes? Um, I have coffee. I can give her a bunch of Keurig cups. Okay, so she's got. Okay. She has a Keurig machine already. Yeah, yeah, she's got that machine. Okay, so what else does your mom like? Uh, bath bombs. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Go on. Uh, I, no, I I don't know if she would need some more of them. I I, I think you uh, should just just err on the side of caution and get a little bit of everything. Get her a, get her a oh, nice okay. basket assortment of things that your mother truly loves. Yeah. Yeah. Your parents do so she much for me. you, Joe. Yeah. Well, she loves me, so I'll put in like a uh, like a uh, four by three of me of a picture, like a okay. headshot. That's fine. I mean, I help I helped you shoot pictures like a couple of years ago. Yeah, four, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three or four years ago yeah. of you and your siblings. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, do do something nice for your folks this Christmas. Get them get them a real good gift. And I actually, you know, even on Thanksgiving, don't eat all of the turkey. Okay, just uh, just eat. save turkey for the yes, family. Let the family have some of the turkey too. <laughs> okay, well I normally do. I don't eat all the turkey. Maybe how about this? Why don't you pregame? Go to KFC or get some Chinese food and then go to go to the dinner table. Oh, that actually sounds good because I do like Chinese food. Yeah, and then maybe yeah, well, you can my... thro- throw the leftovers on your car. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I had one more little thing I wanted to ask you Thanksgiving wise, Joe. Who gets okay, the wishbone? Okay. Who gets the wishbone at the family? Uh, I don't think there's ever been a wishbone. You guys don't take um, the wishbone I, I think... out and dry it out and no. you know do the whole thing? No. Oh. No, I think it just all gets thrown, all the bones. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. That's all. I mean, maybe, I thought yeah. a lot of people did that. Maybe it's maybe it actually it isn't. But that's something we've always done: is the wishbone is found and saved, you know, and then yeah. it dries out, and you know, usually something for the grandkids or something. Maybe <laughs> the kids get the fight over it. Well, yeah, yeah, two kids. You know, you pull on the wishbone, you make your wish, and usually it's the person that pulls is the one who's going to get the the small piece. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, we've got we've got like a bunch of like small grandkids now. Uh, everybody got pregnant and had kids. Yeah. So the Buckley uh, clans so yeah, are growing. Always, yeah, they're always running around and just like yelling and screaming and like uh, pulling on things. Okay. Hey, Joe. Well, that's nice. Jo- how, yeah. how many um, not aunts and uncles, but like cousins and second cousins and whatever removed, how many of them have kids? Uh. Is it a bunch or like less than six? ten? Okay, like six. So how about this? In, in, how uh, basically everybody under the grandparents? Okay, what percentage of Buckleys um, have children out of wedlock? <laughs> um, I mean, there's basically there's two. Well, wait, let me think. Uh... Joe has to remember which family members he has. Yeah, I think I've I got think face blindness. Only... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> everybody don't forget everybody's an uncle too to joe mm-hmm. so it makes it so confusing do you do you, are, really... are there very many but for some reason i just assume that a lot of buckley's just just are banging like rabbits and having well, kids yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there's a... and then shotgun weddings <laughs> no 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 there's no real weddings uh no i think only one person <laughs> just shotguns <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 yeah, we know we mostly just play with guns. We shoot guns out at like birds, and then if we hit one, we throw it in the pot with the turkey. Okay. Yeah, but uh, no, I think only one person is still with the person they impregnated to have the child. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, fair enough. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So, in terms of your family, then, even though you're not going to have your big festival meal, your festive meal this, yeah. this year, um, is your sister coming home from school? Or she's is uh, she home? I I don't know what the situation is to be honest with a lot of colleges right yeah. now. Is she in no uh, college ca- class? Uh, no, she's down in she's down like wherever she is in Illinois, but she's not in class. She's doing online class. Oh, online. But she already paid a year for the for the lease, so she was fucked that way. Yeah. So is she coming up then to to see the family, or she's for or not no? not for Thanksgiving? No, uh, I think she's gonna come down in December. And she might stay this time because, well, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know direction. I got direction blindness, too. Yeah, yeah. I I got face blindness. I I got nose blindness. (laughs) I use use Google Maps. No, I use soap. I use soap every day, right? He just rubs something on his body. He's not sure if it's soap or not. I don't know. That's an eraser, Joe. I don't know. I got soap blindness. It's a square, isn't it? They had to get rid of it because it's my favorite soap. They had to get rid of it because Joe kept sticking the soap on a rope up his butt. (laughs) Mm -hmm. He kept getting it in his pee hole. Ah, burns. So he quit using soap for like six months. (laughs) No, 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 no. I use Google Maps for directions. I use Google Photos for pictures of my loved ones so I can remember them. So I've got it together. I know what to do. So I'm using Joe's mind. Here's my, what I'm seeing. Joe goes to a Thanksgiving dinner, and he's got his phone, and he pulls up pictures, and he goes up to people and holds the phone next to their faces, thumbs through his photos till he finds the one that matches, and then he's got their name underneath. Oh, okay, super. Yeah. Because I got facial blindness. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't remember yet. Well, the photos are tagged the, uh, the people's names, so. That's what I'm saying. I'm sad. You basically yeah. play no, guess no, no, who in real yeah. life with their face. 
Yeah, yeah, basically. And all of them have mustaches. It's very hard to tell. <laughs> oh, it's that Bucky they mustache. They have glasses and mustaches. <laughs> Even the ladies. You're awful, Joe. You're awful. <laughs> yeah. It's the Buckley uniform, glasses and mustache. Everybody yeah. looks like Ned Flanders. Everybody, oh, so when they when you guys sit down together the, at the table to get a picture during Thanksgiving, does everybody simultaneously pull their combs out? <laughs> uh, well, you have to make sure your mustache looks nice on camera. What's wrong with that? Jeez. A lot of families will like sit around the table and and do a, a prayer before they eat the meal. They the Buckleys do their annual okay, everybody worshiping of the comb, and they all pull out the different combs and mm-hmm. combing their hair down, and then the table's you know just what? covered in dandruff. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna send this to him in a Facebook message. I'll say we we made a a lovely Thanksgiving episode. You all should listen to. Please do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and some, it, of, some of my family members do listen to him. Oh, good. And I would. I'm serious, and I've said this before, and I'll say it until it happens. I would love to have one of your family members on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to have them on without I, you. Like they would, it would be like a, it would be like a combo. They come on and we talk to them for 15, 20 minutes, whatever, a half hour. And then you would come in the room and then you would be part of the whole thing. Okay. We okay. can maybe make a yeah. game show I, out of it. <laughs> oh, okay. Somehow. What did Joe lie about today? You know? Yeah. Yeah. But, I'm trying to think of who would be into that. I'm not sure. I, I want your grandmother. <laughs> well, yeah, no, I want I want the patriarch like... or the matriarch of the entire Buckley family. I want Grandma Buckley on microphone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I honestly oh. think Joe, you could convince your father to do it, but the, I I it would come with stipulations. Mm. Well, I follow the stipulations. Talk? Yeah, I'd follow them. Whatever. Yeah. yeah, we don't have to talk about filth. We don't have to talk about his wife uh, nude. We don't have to do any of that. <laughs> Yeah. I just want to talk to your dad. I want to ask, I want his point of view of Raisin Joe. That's the ultimate man with no brain story right there. I mean, this is the guy who created you. You came from his loins. He raised you. He knows more about you than you yourself. How how about this, Joe? How about this? Fans, which Buckley family member would you like to hear from most? Joe's sister, Joe's brother, Joe's mother, Joe's father, um, who who else, Joe? Who who do you think would be willing to do it? Uh, I'm not sure because we tried to get my brother on him. He wasn't. He didn't want. To yeah, do but if they know that like the, the fans want the them, if they know that the fans want them, yeah. they might. They might just like you, Joe. The Buckleys might have something in common where they all start to perk up a little bit. Ooh, somebody wants to listen yeah. to me. Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And there could I'm be a list. Already. There can be a list of things they don't want. By all means, come up with a. They can come up with a list of things they don't want us to talk about and that's totally fine you know if they, yeah. well, i don't want to talk about this and i don't want to talk about this you know any of the stuff that they we normally might joke about or go to they don't want you know, sexual jokes etc cetera, etc cetera, or yeah. fine they i don't care what stipulations are yeah mm. <laughs> i don't know if i can do that and hell i'll even let your dad smoke in the house oh, well, there you go nice of you. yeah 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 so, can i smoke in the house can i bring a little weed no no damn Joe. Because remember, you can't get high. Why? Why? Why not? <laughs> because all the cholesterol in your body just soaks it up. Yeah. Yeah. You're the sure. man with no brain. The, uh, the high comes from the brain. If there's no brain, there's no yeah. high. No, there's a, there's a body high. There's some marijuana that gives you a nice body high, and then there's some that's a nice brain high. The man with all butt. That's what we should call the show. <laughs> Here's here. Actually, you know what I want to do? Maybe we should do a series like um little little short episodes where Joe talks about we we pick a topic. <laughs> and it's something specific, and Joe espouses his knowledge on it, not knowing that we have a professional in that field, oh. whether it's magic cards, smoking weed, or something. And they come on and they just pick, poke all the holes in Joe's bullshit. I, I would that. love to do that. I can I can debate with anyone about any topic that they claim to be an expert in. I mean, there's not very, if we mute you. No, <laughs> and if you're calling in like like you are today, that's easy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that yeah, could be a fun yeah, one. Yeah, you can just yeah. hear, you just see the the steam going out of Joe. Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm just saying that would be a good episode. Oh yeah, you sound real enthusiastic. I was trying to think <laughs> of who know. we could get. Well, no, it wouldn't be somebody you know. Because that's yeah. the thing; it's you. Can't, it's got to be somebody that's not going to be necessarily on your side. Somebody that's going to be mm. willing to say, call you on your shit. So normally, okay. that'd probably be somebody that doesn't you know know you or like you. Otherwise, they sure, may be sure. willing to go easy on you. Well, Joe was kind of kind of like I do with you, you know. Mm. 
I ended up giving you way too much credit. Yeah, no, 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 no. I think I, I think the credit is deserved. I think I Joe, should get extra credit. Do not underestimate our contempt for you. Sometimes <laughs> I, I, I would find the, the ability to reanimate Carl Sagan's corpse to so he can talk to you about shutting the fuck up about the moon being a hoax. <laughs> I could debate with him. I could deba- I no. I could totally. Debate you don't with understand him. what a debate is, Joe. A debate isn't you just scream some points that are that are arbitrary. <laughs> like, I, that's I not am a debate. Louder. I am louder than them. I will win. God. Mm. I'm 100% louder than them. They have no chance. Oh, yeah, Mr. Sagan? Well, my pee-pee hurts! My pee-pee hurts! <laughs> yeah. That's the thing, though. You got cum on your beard, Carl Sagan. <laughs> God. <laughs> the thing about Joe Saggy. is he, he when, when he's around strangers or around, he, 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 he uh, deflates. He definitely oh, he deflates. Does, yeah. So, like, if, if there was a stranger here that legit knows a lot about weed, somebody that maybe owns a dispensary or what do they call them, bud tenders, these people that, like, work <laughs> at these places and have a lot of knowledge about the different strains of marijuana, and you were going off about, you know, the oh, marijuana is this and all the laws of marijuana and all what it does to you, and you can't, it's impossible for you to get high. And this expert yeah. was here. You, you wouldn't be screeching about anything. You'd be like, oh, okay, okay, yeah, 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 okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't believe so. I think yes. I can hold my own against an expert. No, Joe. Like, it, just ad, just admit that when you're around people you don't know, you are better behaved. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah it's not, it, really, it's, it really depends on what kind of person they are, because I know my audience, kind of. <sighs> Joe, even, even, okay, okay. Mm. If we had somebody on this show, and Ryan and I popped off, and it was you and them having a conversation, even if you knew your audience, you would still not have the balls to to be filthy. Like, you wouldn't. If you were talking to a grown adult that you didn't know, you couldn't do it. And that's not and a challenge. I, no, if no, anything, no, that's good that you're being respectful. <laughs> no, well, I think I kind of – I what I normally do is feel people out. And then once I see – right. I can sink my claws in, then I start going into it. No. What are you Listen talking to this about? fucking guy. In terms, Jesus of, in terms of the filth. In terms of the filth. Joe, wait, name one situation where you really felt out an encounter and then just dropped like a bunch of shit out of your mouth. Well, I mean, if, if, uh, no, no, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Wow. Where's the voter fraud, Joe? Show us where the voter fraud is. <laughs> I am. I'm going to tweet about that right now. I'm going to yeah. go on my Twitter and get any hair dye dripping down your face, Joe. <laughs> Looking like the kid in Troll no. Two. No, 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 no. Hey, did, well, did did the fans don't know about your? Uh, Trump Twitter account, Joe. Oh, should I tell him about that? Yeah, sure. Uh, if you're going to use it at all. <laughs> <laughs> I have posted have you, some uh, things I haven't on been it. to it since like the first day. Yeah. It was really uh, funny a, for like six hours. I made a couple more posts on it. Uh, let me see who yeah. I am on there. Uh, I'm a real citizen Trump. It's uh, at real citizen and then tr- T-R-U-1. <laughs> they did not give me the full name. Um, but yeah, sometimes I just go on there and make like funny little tweets in the voice of Donald Trump. Uh, like I said, like mm-hmm. if it's illegal to suck a foreign leader's dick to ensure democracy, then lock me up and throw away the key. <laughs> I like that one. That one's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great idea, but you know, Joe, you got if you want it to be a thing, you got to stick with it. Yeah, yeah, sure. You know, because his account well, I, has tons of you know, there's tons of people on there that are fake accounts, of course, satire accounts. And uh, they're, yeah. they're on there every day, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that yeah, one I keep, lady I keep got... like at, I keep like adding people. Like I don't know what that's called in Twitter, but you like you tag yeah. them in it. I keep tagging people. There's that one lady that got a Netflix show just out of lampooning him. Oh, I mean, okay. I, I'm pretty sure she oh, was yeah. like a stand, was stand-up comedian in her own in her own yeah. right. But yeah. So Joe, yeah. They, it could this could lead to a career. Yeah, yeah. I've got I I found a picture where it just says it's the peanuts and it says. Snoopy, I'm afraid of Corona, and then uh, Snoopy says, "Then have a Budweiser." And you found that, or okay? Did you make but that? what did you say? No, I, I I put down I put that picture, and like I said, fake news, fake virus, fake new president. What else is new in United States? <laughs> okay, I mean, did, that's, did, uh, anyways, did you, if, that, if you like that shit, that's what yeah. you're gonna get on that chat or on that uh, on that Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, by all means, uh, add him as your friend or whatever you do on Twitter and follow him. Yeah, yeah. The fuck I'm and, not sure either. I'm not sure. You know, you, you but don't don't get married to it because it's going to peter out. 
We're probably sure, already sure. past that. You know what I mean? You're going to get, you know, you had like eight tweets at one afternoon and then it was crickets for a week and a half. <laughs> well, I, po- I posted a few more. I posted a few new ones more. Yeah. In like November 12th oh, okay. is the last time I posted. Well, a lot of developments happened today. It's Monday we're recording this. A lot of developments happened today. So there's probably a lot of stuff you could say today if you were interested in putting up some more tweets. Okay, okay. I'm going to say like, uh, I'm going to say like something like, uh, my if- beard. No, no, no. Um, like, uh, maybe like, uh, maybe like I'll post like a picture of like, uh, somebody with a big cup of soda, and then he's like, I'll, I'll put, I wish this was cum, and then I'll be the tweet. No, Joe, you have you have like actual opportunities to do your sense of humor <laughs> as the president. You could easily have grabbed a bunch of envelopes and thrown them in a bucket and pissed in it and shot video of it and put that up there and say, <laughs> see, see, voter fraud in action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, and I'll, I'll, yeah, yeah, and it would give you a reason to pee on something, which you've always wanted to do. Um, well, I mean, I like to, I like to pee on things in my private life, not necessarily on video. We don't have to see. But your that's little the packer. thing too: is Trump like to pee on things? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll actually put on that. If it, how, why can't I pee on my own son? Tweet. <laughs> there we go. That's terrible. <laughs> Well, I'm supposed to be the president. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> well, Joe, yeah. at this point, I just want you to be, just be consistent with it. It doesn't it, just be consistent with it. Okay. If okay. that's all, if that's the best you can muster some days, at least you put something out there. <laughs> okay. Well, that's good at least. That's good at least. Jesus I did Christ. see when you first put up, somebody did comment uh, on on one of the tweets that's about kids, kids oh, these okay. days, because it was obvious to him <laughs> that it was some, uh, you know, in his mind, he was a teenager probably doing the account. Well, I am 25, sir. Soon to be 26, buddy. I'm fine with that. Hey, I'll be 30. <laughs> we'll see. We'll okay. see. Yeah. Well, well, I'll make it to 30. <laughs> yeah, thanks, everybody, for listening to this. Hopefully uh, you have a good uh, Thanksgiving uh, and stay safe, whatever you're doing uh, this year. And As always, if you like what you hear, share it. Uh, let your friends and family know about it. Um, if you're embarrassed to be a fan, I totally understand, too. <laughs> uh <laughs> But yeah, uh, yeah. Let us and, and go to Malevolent Movies as well. Our other channel. There's a, a lot of exciting things happening all the time on that channel these days. So uh, by all means, if you like what you hear here, you'll even uh, love Malevolent Movies even more because Joe is a lot quieter on that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sure, sure. It's wonderful. Do so, do something Thanksgiving as a sign off. Thanksgiving E. Okay. 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 I can do that. All right. Gobble 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 gobble. Ooh, oh yeah, I'm the, I'm the I'm the Thanksgiving turkey. Please don't eat me. Please don't chop off my neck and eat me. I can make a good pet for your son. Please don't kill me and shove God, shove just gravy up my ass and eat me. But tune in to malevolent movies. <laughs> Hey, Joe, what's happening on Thursday? It's Thanksgiving turkey time!